Welcome, today we will be designing IoT based DC fan control using Blink app. In this project, we will be controlling the speed of a DC fan using a vertical slider from the Blink IoT app. The circuit diagram. Please visit the link in the description below to understand the circuit diagram and also the Arduino code. The assembly of the circuit diagram. It involves the connection of the base transistor to the PO pin of the ESP32 cam. As shown here the fan is currently turned off because the base of the NPN transistor is not biased yet, meaning it is kept at 0 volts. When biased at the base of the NPN transistor, the fan come on going at full speed meaning the collector voltage is running at 5 volts. Depending on the voltage applied at the base, the DC fan speed can be controlled as shown here. Now. We program the ESP32 cam for the setup. As shown here, the system was programmed to work with the Blink IoT platform. The source code is already easy and pretty straightforward. Just input your authentication key, the Wi-Fi asset and the Wi-Fi password that has a good internet connection. The authentication key would be gotten either from your Blink app project or in your mailbox once the project is created after uploading the sketch to your ESP32 CAM development boards. Further links to the sketch is provided in the description below. Now, let us set up the Blink app for controlling the fan. To do this we need to open up the Blink app on our mobile device and click on New Project. Enter the name you would want your project to bear. You could name it anything you desire. We just chose to name ours test. Once you are done with this, you can proceed to the next phase. Select your board type by clicking on hardware and selecting ESP32 dev board. Click create afterwards. It would send your authentication token to your email address. Click OK. Go to the app project page. Add a widget control, the vertical slider. Configure the slider to select where your virtual pin is located. And that would be all for the Blink setup. Moving on to testing the project. We powered the breadboard assembly through the programmer power rails. Once we are ready, we play the app project and use the vertical slider to control the speed of the DC fan. The lower levels on the vertical slider minimizes the DC fan speed. Pushing the slider upwards would increase the speed of the DC fan. Whereas sliding it down would decrease the speed of the DC fan. The test can be done to put the vertical slider to ground or level 0 so that the fan can stop. And that would be all for this tutorial guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to please like, share and comment. And most importantly subscribe if you haven't yet. See you on the next video.